All right, here we are for round one of our modern video series with Teamer Prowess. We are on the play, and we have three land, seal of fire, remand, lightning bolt, tarmogoyf. Seems pretty good. Uh, we are going to keep. So now, here comes the decision. What are we? What are we going for? So we want to play the seal of fire turn one. Um, we could always just fetch mountain and then like turn two stomping ground, turn three fetch basic island. Um, that gives us one blue source. I would kind of like an extra blue source. Um, I would like to, uh, you know, try and minimize the damage I'm taking as much as possible. Um, I guess if we wanted to be, um, a little more greedy, we could just fetch a steam vents. That way we have access to two islands should we need it. Um, I think I'm just going to fetch a mountain here. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to determine if it's going to come back to bite me. If I had like a Vapor Snag in hand alongside this Remand, I'd fetch the Steam Vents, but I think we can safely just fetch Mountain here. Go ahead and get the Seal out there, pass the turn. Oh no. Thought Seize is good. Alright, so there goes our Tarmogoyf. Bear with me, I'm going to try and fix my preview thing. Nope, that's too big. There we go. Alright, so it looks like we're on Scalding Tarn Pass. Um, the one thing that I didn't mention in the deck tech is because we're not playing Delver Secrets, um, the games where uh, the Delver decks have a turn one Delver compared to the games where they don't are a lot different. They look, you know, they just look a lot different just because you have this, um, you have like this strategy that's all about trying to push tempo and um, try and keep the opponent on the back foot, but you don't have anything to attack with. I've found that this deck can be a lot more resilient um, than the, uh, the Delver decks can. Um, whew, we are getting rid of that so we're not really punished that much by not having like a turn one play though we need to get something to hit him with quickly that's not good so our opponent's probably just going to cast uh, bitter blossom again I think we just uh, Misty Rainforest up a breeding pool. Uh, this other Misty Rainforest will get an island. We can't really use the Snapcaster for anything, and uh, his 1 1s are going to end up making the body pretty irrelevant. Um, yeah, we're not in a good spot here. Him having the Thought Seize for our Tarmogoyf is really good for him. Yep. think we might just bolt him here if we draw nothing we might just have to flash in the snapcaster seal of fire down his 1-1 one -one and try and start getting in some ship shot damage I actually feel like I think breeding pools fine I won't ever need two green but the breeding pool means if I get the breeding pool here this means I can just play my stomping ground tapped later on I already have access to two red. Yeah, I think breeding pool's fine. I'm just drawing lots of land. <clears throat> well, we'll play the Misty Rainforest. We'll hold up a uh, Snapcaster Remand. We probably won't play these other two lands just in case we draw as a charm. And it is possible that we'll be able to just do enough incidental damage that our opponent will die to his own Bitter Blossom. You never know. <laughs> 
This is this is a lot of land. Whew. Four spells, four, five, six, seven land. Mm, five spells, seven land. I don't know. Counting doesn't really help me, so there's no reason to do it. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. Snapcaster did two damage at least. Um, I imagine he just plays Corsair here, unless he's on like the Liliana plan or something. Liliana doesn't seem great. Maybe we can just sacrifice a Snapcaster to it, and then he just has to keep shumping every turn. If he has removal spell plus Liliana, that'd be really bad for us. Straight up black green with Bitter Blossom and Corsair. I think we're pretty solid against this deck. Just because a lot of his answers are clunky. He's got like abrupt decays. <sighs> Death Cloud. Loses X Life, discards X cards, sacrifices X creatures, and lands. It's pretty good. My webcam is frozen. So we got rid of a Secura Tribe Elder and a Stone Covered. F no, he didn't. He got rid of something else, didn't he? How did all of these end up in his graveyard? So he has a course of crew fix in hand. I'm just trying to figure out how these three cards ended up in his graveyard. I don't know. Maybe I missed something. All right. This is this is where we want to draw Abbot of Carol Keep. Hey. <laughs> so on stream we have a bell uh, for every time we draw. Perfect. So I'll take it. Look, man. I'll take it. We put it in the deck to draw it. A one drop? Land is alright. See, we didn't want to draw this land anyways, so. Alright, so now we just need to draw spells so we can swing into his fairy. Um, he plays a Corsair here. Damnation. That's terrifying. I think we just leave this uh, Misty Rainforest. It's really hard to do the math because we can't anticipate whether, um, you know, like one one block with a fairy token changes the math a lot. I think I think we would do one to thin our deck one more time. We can grab another Steam Vents. Um, I'm not sure how many lands that leaves us with. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There's four lands left in our deck. That shows you how many lands we drew. Yeah, another Abbot. Two Abbots in a row is pretty good. I will not complain. So every single card in our deck is a hit, and we only have four lands left, so. Swiss Spear. Not really what I wanted to see. I'm going to play it. Our opponent's just going to damnation away the board, I would assume. Yeah, I think he just damnations here and then next turn casts a Garrick. Because he's hurt by a Vapor Snag pretty badly. I'm 
swinging with the team. I'm going to force his hand. The bolt's probably going to go at his face. He gets to eat one of my abbots, but then I get to kill both of his fairies. I'm just going to try and kill him before, um, before he can kill me, I think. So this leaves me, he's at four, he's gonna go to three. I think I can win this race. Um, so I have four Vapor Snags. Um, four Vapor Snags, two more Lightning Bolts, and three Snapcaster Mages that pretty much just win the game immediately for me if I draw it. So um, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Plus two more abbots. Uh, I still have four serum visions that can help me find a, a burn. Yeah, I think lightning bolt just goes to his face, and I think I want to save. Yeah, I definitely want to save these two creatures. Because I'm not going to bolt his Garrick Wildspeaker. I'm just going to try and go for it. This might be a risky play, but I feel like the longer. Like, maybe I just want to try and survive and just try and hope to live seven turns, but that seems like it's going to be a losing proposition with him gaining life from Corsair. Um, I guess the life gain from Corsair, I didn't really take that into account. I don't know. I think this this gives me a chance. He goes to three. Um, he probably can play Garrick here, and he doesn't have to Damnation. Yeah, he wants the Corsair so he can... Yeah, he wants the Corsair so he can not die to his own Bitter Blossom. Yeah, so he'll play Garrick, and then him having the Abrupt Decay means he gets to kill his Bitter Blossom if he needs to. Hopefully we can either draw another Burn Spell or a Vapor Snag. That's aggressive. He dies to Vapor Snag. Nah, I guess that's probably right. I just hope we draw it. <sighs> Bobble is not really what we need. Let's see what we're drawing next. Drawing a vapor snag. <sighs> so we're drawing a vapor snag on his upkeep. What does that mean? That means he's going to go to two. I can put him to one. We could vapor snag the courser. Now, if he has a land, he can play courser, play the land, and then abrupt decay. Um. Man, our opponent's going to be a 1. The Misha's Bobble not drawing immediately for us is what is going to kill us here. We might still be okay. We let our opponent go to 2. He might think that he can go to one because in his mind, he's like, well, I'm still dead to bolt, so what's the difference between two and one? Yeah, I don't think we attack Abbott into the beast. I think we just, uh, I think we just sit back. See if he wants to get aggressive attack with two tokens again. So like next turn if he attacks with Corsair and Beast I guess he's making a fairy and he can have three tokens out plus he has Abrupt Decay to kill my guy I don't know we are drawing the we are drawing the uh, Vapor Snag right here though so if there's not another land under this Abrupt Decay I think we could we could definitely win this alright Murderous Cut this is tense this is a good game all of the games with this deck are like this. It's a lot of fun to play. We'll see if he goes to kill his own Bitter Blossom.
He might just try and go for the kill. Yep, he's going for the kill. So he has one card in hand and it's the damnation. Went <laughs> the life from this vapor snag is so relevant. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, just vapor snag his. Oh, he can make a dude. I guess it doesn't matter. Yep, this puts him to one and he dies to his bitter blossom. Nice. Game one. This, I told you this deck is sweet. All right. By the skin of our teeth, we pulled our way out of that. So black, green, death cloud, um, bitter blossom, value, value town. Stata, uh, static caster is great against bitter blossom. Um, it's good for letting our lightning bolts kill coursers. Um, it's pretty unimpressive against his plan of just like grind us out. Um, I feel like the remains are great. Uh, just because he's pretty clunky, he's casting like, you know, four mana Garrix, three mana Corsair of Crucifix that doesn't do much. Um, Roast could be good if he's playing Tarmogoyf, which I wouldn't. Yeah, I think the normal list plays, he might have Bitter Blossom instead, but I thought the normal list played like, you know, four Tarmogoyf, four Liliana the Veil. It's basically like Black, uh, it's basically like Jund without the Lightning Bolts, but with better mana and like a little bit more cohesive game plan and I think a better late game I'm not sure I'm not that familiar with the matchup and how it plays out um, so all of that is to say that I think that we're set up to face this kind of deck pretty well Grim Lava Mancer doesn't seem to be that good it's just a little too small for what we're going for um, you know like when it's where tapping a mana and exiling two cards to either shock him or just like kill a bitter blossom token it's okay but not the greatest i feel like i want access to more of these counter spells maybe i want the spell skite because he's going to be boarding in like some more removal but i think just uh yeah just like trying to drop an early threat and then like have you know be able to sit back on these counter spells for his more expensive stuff is probably where i want to be in the matchup uh rancor seems great maybe i can cut the seal of fire vapor snag seem great i guess a roast kills courser This is interesting. Maybe I only play one Deprive on the draw and I bring in the second one on the play instead of a Lightning Bolt or something. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so three land, Bolt, Bolt, Visions, Abbott. This seems fine. I will keep. So, so like this is what I'm talking about. Here I want to be like Steam Vents fetch forest. I guess the Skeleton Tarn can't fetch the forest. So I guess that wouldn't help me anyways. Um, so maybe that means I just want to fetch a breeding pool first and then play mountain. I guess that's what I want to do. Still think I'm going to fetch breeding pool. Thin my deck a little bit. I don't anticipate having to double bolt next turn. So the cool thing is, um, we could like, if we see a free spell, like a Jataxian Probe or something, we can set it to where, uh, like we can set it and then set something else on top of it. So we can get the free spell off of our Abbot and play Abbot on turn two. Uh, but we drew the Jataxian Probe, so. Uh, but we'll just, 
We'll just use Serum Visions like normal. Bottom our bad card and top our good one. Um, and I think we'll hold on to this. I'm just going to detect Serum Probe here, see if he has a Liliana. If he does, I probably don't play the Abbot. Um, but I would kind of like to just get the Abbot out there. We'll probe, get a little bit more information before we make our move. Um, pardon me, I'm going to take a screenshot. All right. Abrupt Decay, Death Cloud, Ghost Quarter, Kitchen Sphinx, Vampiric Link, Verdant Catacombs. So, his next play is just play a Kitchen Sphinx. I would assume. Um, Vampiric Link is interesting. Yeah, I think we want to get the Abbot down as quick as possible. Alright, I can Snapcaster to Taxium Probe. Kitchen Finks is going to gain him some life though. This is fine, this gives us a turn 2 play, which is what we really wanted the Abbot on the field for, just as a turn 2 play, and we still get to get a card with Abbot. Paper snag. Not good against Kitchen Fangs. It's going to be good against the Vampiric Link, though. So now we have to ask are we double bolting this Kitchen Fangs here? We only have one mountain in the deck, so we can't fetch up another mountain, which means we're going to have to shock with the Steam Vents. We're doing. Quite a quite a lot of damage to ourselves. Um, if he wants to Death Cloud for one next turn, I'm fine with that. He doesn't really have much else going on. <coughs> Excuse me. This double bolt just feels so bad. We could just add it and then like hold up a bolt if he wants to try and Vampiric Link his guy and not attack. I feel like attacking is prob... I would like to... Casting these lightning bolts to where I can get the prowess triggers seems pretty good. So I might just want to do that. I think I'm just going to play Abbot here. Um, we do have another Steam Vents. And we can fetch up. Yep. So we get the land off the top of our deck. We can fetch up another Steam Vents. We just pass back. This way, if we're going to be double bolting um, the Kitchen Fanks, at least we're growing our Abbot. And we could always, like, Vapor Snag this Snapcaster Mage to rebuy a bolt later. That's a good draw. Yeah, so he's going to hold up Abrupt Decay. No swings. Um, I think we can just get a Steam Vents tapped. We're at 13, so we don't really want to be taking that much more damage. Um, so we'll just, like, bolt his Sphinx twice. He gets to Abrupt Decay, our Abbot, we get to hit his Garrick down to two. That doesn't seem that good. Um, the other option is taking two extra damage, bolting his Sphinx now, next turn Roast to get the other half of the Sphinx. And then like that saves a Bolt to finish off his Garrick, which seems fine. That leaves him with Abrupt Decay, Death Cloud, Vampiric Link, and one card I don't know about. Um, I do want to be able to get the Garrick off the field. That leaves me with 
a vapor snag and a snapcaster to his death cloud that he can cast for two leaving me with two lands I can discard two lands he does he's down to pretty much nothing I have a snapcaster and a vapor snag I guess that's fine the danger is letting him uh, letting him keep the Garrick and I don't think I want to let him keep the Garrick so I don't need an extra green source yeah I think I'll steam vents he gets to gain a lot of life here but I could vapor snag in response to his death cloud and pick up my snapcaster oh yeah where's my magma spray or maybe pillar of flame Vapor snag on the abbot in response to the abrupt decay seems pretty good. Yeah, I think th I think this is a good turn. I think we found it. We found it, boys. Yeah, abrupt decay. I'll vapor snag it. I'm at nine. Bolt, kill your Garrick. All right, so he's got a Death Cloud, a Vampiric Link, and a random card. I think my opponent plays a fair amount of land. He's trying to get all the way up to Garrick. So I think it's likely he has at least one more land in hand. He could play a land, Death Cloud for two. Seems like it'd be fine. That aggressive use of Roast is coming back to bite me. That doesn't really do much. So I don't want to let him fire off a gigantic death cloud. I think I just swing in with the snapcaster, kill his courser. As bad as that seems. Cause with courser on the field, he can pretty much just like hold me off and he's just going to wait on the death cloud. Um, if I can force his hand just because he doesn't really have much else to do. He could also just take the two here, yeah. So this is actually just free damage. Which means I'm in pretty bad spot. He might be interested in just like suiting up his, his Corsair with a Vampiric Link. All right, so he drew Treetop Village, didn't play it because he played the Windswept Teeth off the top of his deck. Um, he's got access to two fetches, uh, or two shuffles. Um, he's got the Vampiric Link and a Death Cloud. Another Kitchen Finks? Hey, come on! Yeah, I can't fight all this life gain. Kitchen Finks is pretty good. Yeah, I think we're holding this land, these lands because we just want stuff to discard. Though it looks like he's just going to make us discard the rest of our hand. He can Death Cloud for three right now. He has Treetop Village. Um, 
Vampiric Link, Death Cloud in hand. So we know we know all the cards he has. He's thinking about an attack. I would definitely block and bolt. I have all the mana in the world, so I don't think I want to bolt this. I guess I could bolt the Finx. That frees me up to... Well, no. I'm going to draw one more spell. If I drew a 2-drop and then Abbott hit a 2-drop, I'd feel pretty bad by not bolting the Finx here. Yeah, I think I'm just going to bolt it. I'm going to have to bolt it eventually. My only hope is that I can just, like, play out my hand and, like, have a lot of lands and just hope to draw better than him from that point. But 9 to 26 means I'm pretty far behind. So two drop. It's a two drop, it's a two drop. Sometimes I'm a super genius. Um, we can search up one more island. Oop, so we'll do that. This means I have four creatures, so if he doesn't hit another untapped source, um, I'll be able to have a guy live through the Death Cloud. Um, this also means I can remand his Death Cloud the first time he goes for it, but he's probably just going to cast the Inquisition here. And I know I could remand my Tarmogoyf to just cash in my remand for another card, but then my Tarmogoyf doesn't get to be on the field. It'd be cool if this uh, triggered on casting, so I could like remand my Abbot and still get the the trigger. But I don't think I don't think Abbot needs that to be good. I think it's already good. We'll see if he goes for the Death Cloud. I'm just gonna go for the Inquisition. So, what am I looking for here? He has an Overgrown Tomb. I guess I might as well just remand. No reason not to, he's just gonna take the remand. Make him spend another black mana if he wants the Inquisition this turn. This is basically like a pacifism. Really wanted a spell there. So Death Cloud is his last card. He played the treetop village and left overgrown to him. It's interesting. Might as well play the land because he's going to make me discard it anyways. Which means I might as well play Swiss Spear. But he can make me discard every We can basically, he can just wipe the board, leaving himself with... So he's sacrificing five lands, one, two, three, four, five. One land in a treetop village. I don't even think I get to attack. Yep, yeah, I don't think I can win this game. Thrag Tusk? Yeah, it's over. It's over. He cast Death Cloud. No, I guess he cast Thrag Tusk first, and then he cast Death Cloud. I didn't even make a dent. My opponent's at 27. So what went wrong this game? He had Kitchen Fanks, and I had to spend a lot of resources to get rid of that Kitchen Fanks. Um, and Kitchen Fanks is a card that you're not really happy to Vapor Snag. It's okay, I guess. 
Because it's like uh, the one life loss means is basically trading three mana for one more life. Maybe I might have wanted to go for, like, it'd be a lot better if I had a Tarmogoyf on the field. To where I could actually take advantage of, but then again, if I had a Tarmogoyf on the field, I could just attack into it. Drag Tusk is Vapor Snag's mortal enemy. Yep, we're dead. Alright, game three. It was unfortunate. So. We definitely want counter spells because we want to be countering Kitchen Fanks. Um, Grim Lava Mancer seems pretty good now that we know that he's on the Finks plan. We should have anticipated it, I guess. Vapor Sag seems slightly worse. I would imagine he cut his Bitter Blossoms. Is a charm doesn't seem great against Thrag Tusk and Kitchen Fanks. I don't think I want Seal of Fire. I think I still want a few Vapor Snags. Just because with me being on the play, it's more likely I'll be able to drop a Tarmogoyf and like bounce blockers and keep swinging. Um, if I'm bouncing Corsair, that's pretty good for me, I think. Seal of Fire, like... It just it's pretty unimpressive and vapor snag could be really really good I think we play it like this I don't think I want the negate maybe I should have it I, just, I mean it's the same reason I'm not playing the as a charm I feel like four counter spells is enough I don't really want to cut like more removal for extra counter spells No land. Excellent. Three land, deprive, detaxium probe, snapcaster. Seems fine. I think I'm just going to search up an island. I feel pretty bad if I draw a Suspear here. Oh gosh. Um, discard Vampiric Link, Victim of Night. Cool. Yep, that's fine. So he's gonna take my Snapcaster Mage, and then he's got a removal spell. His hand isn't the best. So I think we want to wooded foothills for a breeding pool. Put it in a play tapped and then serum visions. Bell at Scalding Tarn, search up our mountain. We have our re uh, a green source. We can cast deprive. Abbott is good. We're gonna try and get him to cast. Um, yeah, I don't think we play Abbott next turn. I think we just play Scalding Tarn Pass. We want to be able to deprive a. Um, we want to be able to deprive a Corsair or a Kitchen Finks. If this sucks out a uh, Victim of Night, I'm fine with that. It's possible we wanted to fetch a stomping ground, um, so we could like use this land drop to cast Rancor next turn and still be able to hold up Deprive. But if I'm not casting Rancor next turn, I think, like I don't think I'm that upset about it.
I don't know. I'm just kind of anticipating him casting a three drop here. Sure. Yeah, I want to be able to counter a um, a Garrick. I'm low on time. Hopefully that doesn't become an issue. It would really stink to talk for forty minutes and then lose the match to time on not on camera. I guess I guess this counts as being on camera. It is a webcam. All right, sitting back on removal. Sure. Land would be fine here. Ugh. I'm going to go for it. All right, so we're tapping out. I'm gonna die to these triggers. Always yield. Wow, nothing but land. That's horrible. He cracks his fetch, we'll get to see what he draws. Our opponent's draw is trash. <laughs> Another land, jeez. All right, coast is clear, boys. Yeah, we get to deprive his next thing. We should be all right from this point. Yeah. So we Rancor up this guy. Hitting him for five. I think we just bolt him too. We can deprive and then next turn like Snapcaster bolt. Yeah, so this deck also closes pretty quickly. No good, buddy. I don't know. So, my opponent didn't get to cast many spells. Um, yeah, yeah, I know. My opponent didn't get to cast many spells in that game. Um, I also mulliganed, and my draw wasn't the best either. I mean, he had some interactive things, like Inquisition, Murderous Cut, Vampiric Link, I don't know. He drew a lot of land, but I feel like even if he had an interactive draw, um, I still had the tools to fight him there. Um, Snapcaster Mage was going to give me access to more stuff. Um, I don't know. I was just able to pretty much just like uh, similar to Infect. Um, like he, would, I just like made him use um, removal on like my weaker creatures until I found a window to just you know start casting my bigger stuff. Um, and once I was able to put a Rancor on the Abbot, um, I was able to you know, close the game pretty quickly from there before he was able to draw out of, um, I guess, his land flood, which happens. But, um, yeah, that'll be that. We'll be back for round two.